Think of a championship team like a flower, okay? You gotta plant the seed, water it, and then eventually it blossoms. Well, YZ Boys Basketball planted their seed for 2023 all the way back in 2021. This past group's top three leading scores played a combined four minutes in the 2021 state championship game, which YZ won. But that was that group's story. This is about this year's team. But those seniors in that season set the stage for a pretty epic journey. I mean, that group of guys was super talented, but they were also super motivated. Going to see how they competed so hard and, and played so hard um, just made me motivate, motivate me a lot. The big people that helped were just like the senior leaders because they were kind of, you know, just telling me that, um, you know, things are all going to work out. And you just got to kind of accept, you know, how it is that, you know, there's people ahead of you and that stuff. And but yeah, obviously not on the team. And I wanted to be on the team. Um, so that just made me work really, really hard. And they did. Jackson joined Varsity as a sophomore, with Hayden and Spencer becoming fixtures in the Trojan starting lineup. So this was the first year that I really got to play a lot, like you said. So, I mean, it was a huge year. And I do think uh, because of the 21 season, the guys uh, who played last year were kind of just normal game for them. Then they kind of helped me and others who weren't as experienced, you know, um, see it as just a normal game. I got to understand how high school basketball worked playing on the court. I mean, it's different from when I'm um, youth. I mean, there's a lot of pressure. So that year, I would say I felt a lot more pressure to succeed rather than I did this year. Just because you also feel like you have to do well for the upper class, like with the seniors, it's your last year. Going into my senior season, um, I took from like that whole long season is that you know, it's a really long season and whatever happens right at the start won't matter in March and whenever. So I think um, it's really just looking at it as a big picture instead of just little, little moments. It seems like a blimp now, but one of those little things was starting 0-3 this past season. But as you just heard from Hayden, their experience from last year got this team to rally and they would go 27-1 the rest of the way, leading to a state title besting Park Center, who they had lost to the year before. Hayden, as a senior guard, led the team in scoring, averaging over 20 a game. Spencer averaged double figures, playing incredible defense. But the hero was a lanky guard. You might have heard of him. Six foot nine. Wasn't on the team two years ago. Didn't play in the state title game last year, but scored eight of the team's last nine points in overtime to, again, beat Park Center. Jackson McAndrew was the hero. Yeah, it's just so, still so surreal, you know, so like kind of processing it, like being in the game, like, a, you know, just had to do what I had to do to help the team win and do my best to do that. And then I look on social media after the game and I see all those clips, I'm like, like wow, like, I really just did that. Like, <laughs> this is so surreal. It's crazy. With Jackson, I mean, that's stuff that we see all the time in practice. I mean, he's an unreal talent. And just, you know, seeing it during the game, I wasn't necessarily surprised to see it, but it did get me, like, really excited. I was I was losing my mind over there in the bench watching him get some of those shots, making those moves. He had some unbelievable plays, shots. So, you know, we were all really proud of him. But, you know, we all expect that. So it's nothing new to us. And it shouldn't be to anyone else because he's a stud. But... Uh, he played really well, and then um, when the clock was kind of taken down and there's like under 10 seconds left, you kind of just look around and, you know, realize what, what's about to happen. And, um, you know, people are either excited, you know, sad, but you've got to, you know, take in the moment and realize that this isn't something that every, every single person um, feels. And it's very special. And, you know, maybe in the moment you don't realize it, but looking back, um, it was just really fun to play there and, and win. Hayden and Spencer, both seniors, leave the program as two-time state champions, while Jackson will return next year for his senior season in hopes of defending their state title as one of the state's top players and recruits. This has been yet another edition of Senior Spotlight. My name is Alex Zappa, and thank you so much, as always, for tuning in.